Hey everybody, I want to show off a web app I built to help streamline church communication responsibilities. Requestwheel.com I spend a lot of time as a communications person at a church dealing with people who send me emails. The emails include things that they want in the church newsletter, flyers they want made, banners, and more. I used to collect all the submissions either via paper or email and then entered everything into the spreadsheet. Instead of having all this information in multiple emails I sift through, I wanted to have a website where people could submit their content. Then the website could organize and sort the information. Now, with Request Wheel, instead of emailing me content, people can add it directly to the grid. For example, if we log in as Bob at AOL, what we see right at the top is the Submit Request button. If Bob wants something in the newsletter, let's say on December 29th, all he needs to do is submit a new request. He can type in pool party. It's December, but you never know. It's Southern California. When is it due? It's due December 29th. This stuff is optional. If there was something to print, like a flyer, that could be indicated here. And then there's the kind of paper and other extras. We just want the newsletter. Let's say he wants that on the 29th. He can type exactly what he wants the content to be. We're going to have a great time at the pool party. Then he could indicate quantity, but since it's just the newsletter, we don't have to fill that out. And voila, it's been successfully submitted. Now, here's the list. 1229, and we said we wanted it in the newsletter. It's not going to show up here, right? You don't see the pool party because it hasn't been approved by the church administrator. It's awaiting approval. There's also, to the left, a list of all the submissions that Bob has made. Below, there's a list of the 50 most recent submissions. Lots of people in my church have been submitting. Let's say I log out. I'll log in again as the administrator. Here I am. If I go down to the bottom, then it says Requests Awaiting Approval. Here's Bob's submission. If I click on that, I have this box below Quantity that says Approved. So I can review it. Pool Party, 1229. This is something he wants in the newsletter. I can say, great, let's approve it. Or I could change it. Then I hit Submit. Form successfully edited. And now, if I go up here to the 29th in the newsletter, here's the pool party. So someone from the church has added their content to the grid. All I did was approve it. Also, to top it off, instead of me going to my email and looking for every single email that contains content for the newsletter, I can just click on the word newsletter. Then. I get the body of the content that's been submitted for that week's newsletter. In this case, we're going to have a great time at the whole party. So when I'm building the church newsletter, I don't have to find all the emails and then the second emails that correct the first one. I can just say, copy this from request wheel and I'll paste it into whatever software I'm using to work on the newsletter. Thanks for watching. You're welcome to give it a try for yourself at requestwheel.com.